you're watching Tau Flight Amounts. Today we're going to see if we can supersonic these lithium-123 batteries. A lot of viewers have wanted us to try this. They appear to be pretty tough, having a nickel-plated steel case, I believe. We'll be using two different types of Sabos. This mono Sabo, which has just one split. Probably a bad idea. And we'll compare that to this more traditional two-piece discarding Sabo. This Sabo is essential to engage the rifling so we have proper spin stabilization. Let's go out and test them out. Welcome back Tough Later folks, Bullseye Brianna here today. And what we have for you today is we will be seeing how this lithium flashlight battery travels through the air towards whatever mysterious objects we have at the end. And we're just gonna, you know, see the damage, see what happens, see if it will fly straight, see if it's gonna do wonky things through the air, and yeah. Mostly, is it a good idea? That too. <laughs> it might be a really Hopefully bad idea. Hopefully the answer is yes. <laughs> In the first test using the Mono Sabo, we see excellent stability. It's spinning, but we see a pretty good drop there too. This is only about 25 yards. So far, it's looking pretty promising for these things. So that was low. Not too low, but oh, you can see the imprint of the positive end of the battery. <laughs> yeah, so it must have been flying straight. Look at that. It just kind of... It's just a big old mess. That's what it looks like. We'll put that in our hazmat container and... <laughs> we got a hazmat. What are you talking about? Ooh, it smells like cancer. All right, folks, now we're going to see how it does against a computer hard drive. In test number two, again, using the Mono Sabo, we have good stability again. And you may have noticed it shedding that black insulator on the positive side of the battery right before impact. But I'm kind of impressed for what these are. They're doing pretty well. Still low, aiming about here but not quite as low as the first shot. Although it makes me look better if I said I was aiming right there. Oh, that's true, yes. <laughs> but it went clean through there. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Next we have our little gummy bear friend here. So we'll get to see what exactly is going on whenever our lithium flashlight battery is hitting our target. Very good. Very good. In shot number three, Brianna made a minor adjustment to her aim and it's paying off. And we see a tremendous amount of energy transfer as that steel case of the battery kind of shatters like an eggshell. I did, really did not expect to see that. And in case you were wondering, this gummy bear is actually made out of ballistic gel. It's where our old ballistic gel blocks go when, when they get too nasty to recast and it's it's nice to be able to reuse the gel because it's so expensive okay it's getting better it's yeah. getting better right right there right between his little arms there's some ugly stuff in there yeah it's not very pretty inside what's the back oh look at that oh wow tore this little guy up yep not it's looking more that was a little more accurate this time i don't yeah or precise or whatever term you want to use it hit where she was aiming. How about that? Yes. We can use that term. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, friends. Now we are going to shoot this aluminum plate. Oh, very British of you. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> right there. That was that loud. That sounded so cool. That was loud. We're now using the two-piece Sabo, and it's pretty apparent that we should have just gone with the two-piece the whole time, not that silly Mono Sabo. Sometimes we had decent results using the Mono Sabo, but most of the times it seemed to kind of affect its accuracy. As everything leaves the barrel, you want the Sabos just to fall away without kind of bumping into the projectile and knocking it off course. Okay, that one was the most Accurate. Accurate yet. Yeah. Precise. It hit the, the point of aim, intersected the point of 
impact, <laughs> however you want to put it. Okay, what happened there? Well, in case y'all are wondering, it did not go through. Oh, I, I can't like, believe that. Shucks. But there, it did leave a very nice imprint. You know, I, I think it might have barely dented. It, it left a little a dent. Little bit. But that thing burst and it just but. sent shrapnel all across there's the There's pieces table. of, there's a piece of the battery casing. This is, all this black stuff, it's it's embedded in the plastic. It's because, just, like my dad says, a flashlight is a dark sucker. A dark sucker. Yes. Where does he come up with these bits of wisdom? He is a wise man. Very wise. <laughs> All right, next we have this beautiful pork roast that I will be shooting at. And I'm going to aim at the meaty part, folks. The so, meaty part, that's meaty a good part. idea. I thought so too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we're using that darn mono sabo again, and you can see how even at about 20 yards, we're not getting very good results using that system. I think it's safe to say in hindsight, the mono sabo concept was just a failure. Okay, there's the meat. Yep. Nobody wants to just, touch it though. Just grazed him. <laughs> but you know, if he wasn't already in a nice neat little package, he would be bleeding out somewhere. That's true. So. And then next we have the lead plate. The love boat. Yes, another mono sabo, folks. Sadly, I only loaded one with the two-piece sabo. At least that gave us an idea of how accurate these things can be using the proper sabo system. Really interesting how the battery bullet hit exactly on top of those fins from a previous test. Odds of you hitting that that Russian uh, uh, flechette tail, the aluminum tail that was on that aluminum plate or that lead plate. Very high. Yeah. Apparently. Isn't that crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty cool. Actually. Well, I well, you got a good reaction on that one because it caught on fire. It's a little little fireball. Couldn't see it in real life, but it was. Penelope would love that. <laughs> that was cool. A little bit off again. These things are not super accurate. We're finding. No. Can you? I, I I find that hard to believe. You know, that that a battery isn't an accurate projectile. <laughs> Hey, but they, uh, I wouldn't want to get hit by one, as they say. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> if you're wondering how to ruin a block of ballistic gel, this is how you ruin a block of ballistic gel. Now, we didn't get a lot of penetration, but we saw a lot of energy transfer. And we see an absolute vulgar amount of lithium debris, metal fragments, and all kinds of other garbage in that wound track. That, I would not want to get shot with it. Look at how nasty That's that is. Disgusting. It is. Keep pouring the water on there. And it, oh, there you go. That helps. That it's is a, a nasty lithium wound track there. Very shallow too. It yeah. only went in oh halfway. Halfway, so nine inches or something of penetration. A bunch of metal fragments. Yeah, you said the other side's better? Yeah. Okay. This side you yeah, can keep, see. Just wash it off, folks. Wash it, wash it. Oh, there look you at have that. It. Oh, you can see the end or the yeah the pause I think that's a positive end right there oh gosh the circle there's not much left I can see little red pieces of the label on there Just oh <laughs> yeah it was a <laughs> it, it really it really I mean it was a, a huge energy dump because oh, all yeah. you know oh yeah that what was lies is it's gonna disperse pretty quickly yeah it, it, it just so cool, blew up like a balloon yeah. Cool. Well, there you have it, the cool. a, a much requested idea that we filmed years ago, and it didn't 
wasn't super impressive. We didn't have the, the new camera and everything. And we wanted to make them fly stable uh, using the full rifling. Accuracy still wasn't that great. Otherwise, we, we were going to do a 50 yard shot, but you know, it wasn't looking too good for that. But there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Brianna. Can fun. I show you? Or you if you want to. Oh, and Brianna's dead. Where's your medal? Where'd no, you it's in there. <laughs> you gotta be wearing that like yeah. when you're going out shopping and stuff, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay, Brianna's dad, who was not Greg. <laughs> <laughs> he won a, a first place in what oh, category? Heavy varmint. <laughs> heavy heavy varmint, 200 yards. <laughs> yeah, he came out here after shooting a competition. He had a like a big Olympic medal on. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you, Brianna, for taking your time to, to do this silly stuff with us. It's always fun. Oh, load another. I didn't even see any dust. That was a, a bad one. Did you see? I didn't even see any dust. Yeah, I just. Is the barrel clear? Might might have gone higher. Oh, thank you. Yep, try another one. <laughs> and today we will. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can start that one over. <laughs>